Why we should have the next band, brothers and sisters. I am five foot six. I am the tallest ever member of my family. My dad is five foot nothing. My dad is slightly magical looking. He can't leave the house when there's a rainbow. Yeah. Have we got any Americans here? Hey! Hey, you guys! Hey, American guys! Hey! Everybody give the Americans a round of applause for finally not electing an idiot! Let me tell you, I was delighted with Obama, brother Obama, becoming the president of America. I'm delighted. He's a paddy! As a man and a political mind, I was delighted. As a comedian, I was good. That has been the eight easiest years in comedy's history. We like Americans here, don't we? I like them. They're much nicer than us, let's admit it. Irish people, British people, deep down, we're bastards. There we are. Nothing makes us happier in the summer months than seeing a backpacker fall over. Ah! Come on, visit the castle now, you sprained ankle! <laughs> what are we doing back there? The next band almost ready? Too far. Look at it work. Look at it work. Who else we got here? Who is here? Uh, what other nationalities? Have we got any Polish people here? <laughs> Welcome. Ah, oh, they the Polish, they love working, don't they? I don't know what they see in it, but they love it. <laughs> My boiler was screwed recently. I was like, oh, how long will this take to get fixed? I rang this Polish dude. I was like, can you fix my boiler? He said, I'm on your roof. <laughs> That's quick. How are you doing, madam? How long have you been here? All day. All day, look at it. All day. You have definitely been here all day. Is there any other festival in the world, a man covered in face paint and wearing combat fatigues would be a scary sight. Oh, chairs and everything. Look at it work, look at it work. It's gonna be exciting. Is a man out? Sir, I can't help notice that you're wearing a Union Jack cap in the middle of all this. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, if you look closely at our island, it's one in five Union Jack. You're more than welcome. Irish Have we got any Belfast people here? Irish! No, no, I love Belfast people. Belfast is going to be the scariest accent in the world, isn't it? It doesn't matter what you say in a Belfast accent, it still sounds terrifying. You know what I mean? Like, it's just scurry. Scurry, just intimidating. We bit turfing. It doesn't matter what you say in a Belfast accent, it's just scurry. Turfing. You know what I mean? You got a lovely puppy. <laughs> lovely puppy, lovely shady nose, waggy tail. You ain't there. You ain't there, sausage. Hey, right, Benji. Almost ready. There's a man with a guitar. Why are you doing it? Where are we going later? Where are we going? Because we get kicked out of the square at six o'clock. Where are we going? Waxies. Somebody's going to Waxies. Where are you going? My house. Listen, I've got a big back garden. I'll let you smoke out back. Everybody around my house. It's going to be, I've got exactly six cans of Stella and half a... It doesn't matter what the other thing I was going to say was. I've got six cans of Stella and I'm going to do a Jesus Loaves and Fishes number. All these come round and y'all get a sip of the drink. <laughs> How are you doing, madam? You okay? You enjoying yourself? It's going good, isn't it? They were almost ready. Almost ready, John. Nearly. Nearly almost ready. May I remind you the toilets are around here? Good, right then, all around my gap. Got a man in the Galway jersey. Who is? Uniform. What is it? West 
Meath. Hey, listen. West Meath has got a lot to answer for, including Ryanair. <laughs> Ryanair, mate. Honestly, until I flew on Ryanair, I never knew the difference between the words inexpensive and cheap. <laughs> sells booze and plastic bags. <laughs> Has anybody ever had the boozy bag on Ryanair? <laughs> hey, listen, let's be honest with each other. Trafalgar Square, this St. Patrick's Day Festival. If you're drinking spirits on a 45 minute flight, deep down you know you might have a little bit of a drink problem. <laughs> <laughs> but usually in a normal airline, it comes in a miniature. So at least you can distract yourself by pretending you're a giant. <laughs> you ready for the next bomb? Let's keep this thing rolling here. By the way, can you give yourselves a round of applause? Because you can't see you, but I can see all your happy smiling faces. Give yourself a round of applause. Let's keep this thing rolling. Look over here. Up there. You look came late. Ladies and gentlemen, our next band have their first single coming out. It's called Simple Thing. They are from Dublin. And there's something for the ladies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you please practice round of applause? Let's just double check. Get your big horny Irish hands together. Well, that was lovely. I'll tell you what, if that was a village fate and I was handing out the second prize, that's what I'd expect. <laughs> People, put your hands together! Send the applause going now! <laughs>